In this video, I'll show how to operate the HTP Revolution 2500 for TIG welding on both AC and DC as well as pulsed TIG welding. I'll start off by setting the machine to the TIG welding mode. I can press this button to set up some of the details of the process. I can select my polarity, either AC for aluminum or DC for steel or stainless steel. The next menu allows me to select between standard or pulsed welding. With standard selected, I can go down to high frequency arc starting. Lift arc is also available. I can use the knob on the left to control my amperage and it reads out in the left display at the top. You'll notice it's a different amperage reading out here in the LCD because I'm using a remote. By pressing this button, I can adjust some of the details of the process. So I can adjust my pre-flow and each of these parameters is adjusted using the knob on the right. As I cycle through, I can set a downslope timer right here to ease out of my welding current or set it all the way to the bottom to do so manually with the foot pedal. And I can set my post flow to be able to protect the tungsten and my welded material. The next menu includes a hot start amperage setting, which a higher number will give a crisper, sharper start, and a lower number is useful on thin material to avoid burning through. That's just a short burst of that set amperage. The start amps, on the other hand, adjust the low end of the range or the lowest value that you can run when you're barely on the foot pedal. I'll press the home screen and it's ready to weld on DC. Let's go ahead and look at some of the settings when I move to AC. Now with AC selected, I can select between a few waveforms. Square wave, which will be the most common, triangular, which reduces heat input, and square with pulse. I'll go ahead and select square for now. Now in this case, once again, I can select lift start or high frequency arc starting. I'll use high frequency. And there are a few more parameters shown now on the LCD screen, frequency and balance for AC. In order to change those, I'll press this AC settings button and I can set my balance, which is the percentage of time electrode negative. A higher amount will be more penetration, and a lower amount will be a bit more cleaning of the oxide layer on the aluminum. I can also set my AC frequency, which is the number of times it switches between positive and negative in a second, a higher number will give a little bit tighter, more focused arc, where a lower number will be a little bit uh, more broad for a thicker material. Now with those set, I am ready to weld. Now let's just take a quick look at the pulse settings. So we'll select DC in this case, and select pulsed welding, and high frequency arc starting. This will open up an additional pulse settings menu. When I press this, I can cycle through and adjust how many pulses per second. I can run a high frequency pulse to reduce heat input, or I can go down to a low frequency pulse that can help to time progression of the weld. In addition to the pulse frequency, I can adjust my pulse duration or peak time, and this will adjust the percentage of time that it's at my set amperage versus a lower background current. I can also adjust the actual background amperage itself as a percentage of my weld setting. With those settings in place, I am ready to weld with pulse. That's how to operate the HTP Revolution 2500 for TIG welding.